Hey YouTube, it's me. I'm back. Um, I just decided to come to y'all with a video today. I'm sorry, I always do that with my hair. But a video today because I got me some makeup brushes. I noticed in my videos I'm always saying, I oh, don't mind these brushes. They old. They, you know, have no name. They not good. So basically, I started doing a little review, um, like looking at makeup brushes to use that were good prices for beginners so I came across these Samantha Chapman's um, Real Technique brushes and let me tell you these brushes are everything and then some like I'm not even lying like I've never had like high-end brushes like I have one MAC brush but I've never had like a whole collection of high-end brushes where I can really tell but what I do know to look for in a brush it, it's not shedding and that it blends your makeup in good. And what I can say, honestly, that these brushes do just that. I don't mind them, they're a little dirty. I've used them for, I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna say three weeks now because I didn't wanna come on here like, oh, they good, I just got them, and no, they wasn't. So I used them first before I came on here and gave any type of review. So I purchased these from Ulta. They was having a, um, a sale, buy one, get one, half off, so. I got two um, sets, so I got the face the face brush set and the eye set. I don't, as I told you, I don't do um, eyeshadow really. I got a little blue down here. I tried to experiment today, but as you see, it ain't even all that. So basically, they come in this pouch. I took them out of the pouch because I don't really like the pouch. Like, it's not convenient for me to pick up my brushes every morning. So, I took them out of the pouch, but a lot of people like the pouch because basically what you do is, it comes with the brushes stuck in here, and what you do is basically open it up, and I believe it's like you pull the drawstring this way. Some way you're supposed to pull the drawstring and it stands up like a stand. It's supposed to stand up like this, which really doesn't suit me because I wouldn't leave it stood up in my um my bathroom or anything like that because I have a son he coming in and knock him off it's just I mean it was cute little extra to what you get but I wouldn't use it so basically I took it out the case I don't need that so basically I'm gonna start off with the face brushes and they come with four this one is called the um okay they don't have the names on them and I don't have my um container where it came in so I'm just gonna say what I think they are this one right here and what I use them for this one right here is um I think it's called blending brush I'm not that sure but basically what I use it for is I put my liquid foundation on this I only wear liquid foundation I used to do powder but it makes you sweat and hot and nobody has time for that so I use this one to put my liquid foundation on and buffer it and blend it in and this is excellent like I get no streaks it's just excellent. Like, I love this brush. Now, it is a little bit small than, I guess, um, what you would see, like, regular found like brushes for. But I like it because, you know, I can keep it in my hand, hold it. It kind of feels like a marker or a thick pencil. And it has this um, thick rubber tip to it so it doesn't slip out your hand. You ain't, If you going real fast, it ain't going to flip across the room, nothing like that. So, I really like this brush. This is called... The, I know this one's called the contour brush, and I use it just for that, like, getting your contour and getting here. It's, I mean, it's a fair size. It's a little bit, it's thinner than this one, and so I think it's good to get in right there with that one. So this is the um, second one. It also comes with this, which they call this a foundation brush. I do remember this because I know this is way too small to be anybody's foundation brush, so... The, what I use this one for is when I put my under eye concealer on, I just take it and get in the crease. Like up here where your finger can't reach or where like another brush can reach. It has a nice point on it where you can really like get in there like where you need to get. And it helps to blend it out good too. And then it came with this little brush which looks um like a lip brush. Oh, it does have the names on it. It would have helped if I would have turned them around. They call this one the detailer brush. So this is what this one looks like. As you can see, this is the one I put my um, blue 
eyeshadow on with actually so i mean it was good for that i knew i would find something to use it for but you can also use it for a lip brush if you um have like you know lipstick in a thing you can use it for that you know just brush it on by the way this is heroin mac heroin i'm wearing today i love this lipstick and so yeah this one is the foundation brush this one says that it the contour brush like i knew i remembered that one and this one is a buffing brush so they do have the names on it if you do lose the um container like i did i've tossed it out i know i have so those that was those and then i have the eye set which is purple i really like the color um now like i said i don't do i'm sorry i just finished eating some chipotle i know that's really nasty but i don't do eyeshadow like at all but i'm trying to learn i'm trying to get into it so the first one i have is this one which is called the accent brush I have no idea what you use these for. But what I did try to use it for is, um, you know, the MAC um, concealer that comes, like, in the eyeshadow pot. I tried to do under my eye, my eyebrow with it, and it really didn't work for me. I really like a, um angle brush for that, and this just didn't do it. So, I'm sure I could find something to use it for. Maybe when you do eyeshadow, you can get, like, in the tear duct with this right here. I guess. I don't know. This one is called the Base Shadow Brush. So, I did try to do eyeshadow maybe like two Sundays ago. And I did use this to put on, you know, that first color that goes right here that you pack on right here. It worked, I'm sure, you know. It's, it's a good brush. It's very soft. All of these brushes are very soft. Like, you know, you get those drugstore, br drugstore brushes and they be all hard and scratching your face. Like, these are so soft. And it was only $19.99, I think, for the pack. Excellent price. Buy one, get one half off. You can't beat that. So, um, I have this brush, which is called the Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. Now, I would not use this for eyeliner. It is really thick. I'm a beginner person who does makeup, which I feel like these are good beginner brushes. And ain't nobody getting no eyeliner on with this thick brush. Like, look at this. You could do lip with it. You could um, definitely be a lip brush. I used, I tried to use it at first for doing the um, blue on my eyes, but it wasn't working. This one worked a whole lot better. So, or was it? It was either vice versa. Either this one didn't work and this one did. One of the two, but anyway. This one right here is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. So, I'm not really sure what... A crease brush is or how it's supposed to look but I did use it when I try to do my eyeshadow I used it as a crease brush to get you know right in here and I think it was like a little fat for that like I didn't really like it I don't know what a crease brush is supposed to look like or what it's really supposed to do but that's what they call this one now what you could use this for is again under eye concealer you know blending it out getting right here or you can use it for contour on your nose maybe I don't know you can find something to use it for. And the last brush I have, which I have not used, it, and I don't know why I haven't used it, but it is the brow brush. Probably because I already have an angled, um, a angled um, brush, but and it's a little bit thinner than this also. But I will try to use this for, um, you know, doing my brows. I use eyeshadow to do my brows, so I guess it will help to get in there and get it together just another angle brush so again they came like this you know four and one two this one has five this one has four which i really love these brushes like i use them every day like i do makeup every day i use them every day i've even washed them once and i got no shedding of the hair they didn't like get this form you know some brushes you wash them and they be all over the place afterwards. They went right back to how they came. And I really like that about these brushes. Again, they're the Real Technique um, brushes. And I got them from Ulta. They're by Samantha Chapman. She also has a YouTube channel with her sister called Pixie Woo. So if you like, you know, check them out. They do a lot of tutorials and stuff to help you out. So that's my review. I finally got some brushes. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So hopefully I can come back with more makeup tutorials and eyeshadows that I learn as the days go on. So talk to you later.